Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you use of vectors. So here uh, we are going to create a simple data set, and in the, the, this data set, I'm going to put these three numbers. So whenever we want to put multiple numbers of same type, so we can use C. C actually stands for concatenate, and these three numbers are actually one element vector. When we write a number in R, that number is actually a vector. Uh, one element. So we, what we are trying to do here, we are concatenating these three vectors, and that concatenation also result in a vector which will be stored in A. So this A will be having three element. Uh, let's print this A run. So in A, I am having twelve, twenty three, thirty four. So uh, if you can see here the type of the elements stored in this vector are numeric number now if i want to access a specific element so i can use index like 2 so in r uh, for vectors indexing start from 1 not from 0 so this 12 is stored on one index this one 2 and this one on 3 so if we try to print value stored at second index so that is 20 Three. Another feature is uh, set subsetting. Like if you want to access uh, element from starting index to ending index, and those starting and ending index you want to specify, so you can do, you can use this subsetting. You can specify the starting index. So in this case, let me take two, and the last one is the three. So let's print. So it will take element from this index till this this one now the thing is that uh, it's uh, said that in a vector all we are having of same types like uh, we can have all element from number all element from uh, integer now the thing is that what will happen if we try to mix data let's say i am putting one string in this data so what will happen now so the thing is that uh, in vector you can have all data all data of the same type so in this case these number will be converted into string so let's see let's uh, run this program so if you can see uh, this is the type in r for a string char so every element is converted into string now let's see what will happen if we try to use a logical value so in this case if we run it so in this case this true actually converted into a number numeric so in vector we can have multiple element of same type in the next tutorial i am going to show you how to use list thank you very much for watching